Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival. As always, if you want to continue supporting the series, then do be sure to drop a like rating. And of course, if you're new around here, consider subscribing or hitting the join button on the channel. Now, in today's episode, we've got a few things to uh, show you to start off today's episode. But then, the more major thing we're doing today is we're making a gold farm. That is right. We are making a gold farm. It is actually my own design. I did it in my own creative world using, get this, turtle eggs. That's right. We are using turtle eggs to lure zombie pigmen to their deaths. Now, there's a couple of things I want to say straight off the rip here. One, yes, there is a new snapshot, which is W38A, and I have not upgraded to it. I did test it, but uh, yeah, it had very much reduced performance in terms of frame rate, in addition to item frames not being the correct color. It was very, very weird. But guys, check it out. Since the last episode, I have been very, very busy. Once again, not been idle. I have been finally making a bit of a start on organizing the storage around here we've even started putting some item frames up here in fact all of the item frames are now in we just need to decide what's going in each of the chests so as a result of that we now only have these chests right here which contain all of the items in the world all of the blocks have been sorted which is beautiful oh uh, yeah so guys check it out what we need to do is we need to go ahead and fill up a shulker box full of any kind of block anything we've got in mass i mean we've got netherrack we have ourselves stone like smooth stone and we've also got cobblestone we could probably make ourselves a little bit of a thing with it right so what we need is turtle eggs trap doors we are also going to be needing a ton of blocks and honestly that's about it and the design in question doesn't produce XP, nor does it produce player drops. It just produces raw gold. So, gold nuggets and zombie flesh. So, what we're going to wind up doing as a little bit of a side thing is eventually, hopefully, getting some cleric villagers and putting them up there so we can, you know, get ourselves a bunch more emeralds. So, yeah, it's going to be a fun time, guys, and I'm very much looking forward to it. Like, for example, uh, you know, this is our gold supply at the moment, but after we have this freaking farm up and running, this thing's going to be full in no time. It literally is. So, one thing I want to do as a little bit of a serious goal is I want to try and fill up entire chests worth of stuff so we've got the emerald blocks done we've got the iron blocks done the gold blocks are probably going to be the next one we have ourselves quite a hefty amount of coal ore here so that's totally fine and then of course we've got all of the diamond stuffs going on as well now what we're also going to do is we're going to do the comments question of the video at the start of today's episode super king says hey python show us a teaser for the 1000 diamond ore mining challenge in other words they're asking for a little bit of a progress update because one of the things i want to do is eventually mine 1000 diamond ore in an episode guys we have so far this supply we have ourselves 64 plus 29 but with that all said and done guys with that all said and done i have actually moved the insta mine beacon uh so we're mining in a brand new area you may yep there it is there's the new beacon beam exactly 100 blocks away from this because of the radius of the uh, beacon being you know 50 blocks so yeah 50 plus 50 100 so bada bing bada boom all is looking well so we do actually have some more diamond ore down here so we're gonna go ahead oh <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and see if we can't uh, you know tally up the amount of diamonds we now have so here we go this is the new insta mining area up at level 11 i'm not entirely sure that i'm gonna go ahead and go down to level 9 anymore it didn't really produce that many results so this is the ores chest so there we go we've got 105 diamond ores so far so just over 10 percent of the way there which is beautiful now i'm actually going to take the shulker box because i like having storage oh yes i do and look at this guys we've got a whole bunch of other stuff as well but to be honest we're going to leave them there for now and we're going to get back up top and we're going to prepare our shulker boxes with all the materials that we need for this gold farm Alrighty, guys so this is what we've got going on so far a full shulker box of nether rack and probably uh, filling up all of this with nether rack as well we're going to use the stone here to make stone bricks which is going to be like the afk area uh, got ourselves a bunch of wood the trap doors the uh, light gray wall to prevent spawns of other mobs uh, and then we've got the turtle legs themselves we've got the glowstone and some more stone in there as well so uh, when it actually comes down to it i think we're just about there we need what i mean according to the numbers here maybe 11 more stacks of uh, netherrack 
or whatever, you know, whatever the amount is. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, let's pick up our Endu chest. And what we're going to do is just simply head into the nether. We're going to pick ourselves up our whole bunch of nether rack. Probably just by, like, going down to the normal nether, I guess. I can't remember where the normal nether is now. <laughs> oh, gosh. I guess all we're going to have to do is, like, dig down, I guess. Ah, uh, okay. It's right there. <laughs> Oh, that's not dangerous or anything, is it, guys? Holy guacamole. Why have I got a golden sword and rotten flesh in my inventory? I have no idea. Right. Uh-huh. I wonder if I could... Uh, <laughs> I wonder if I could do what I did last time and actually somehow make my make my way back up here. That'd be kind of epic. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Uh, oh gosh, I'm on fire. Alright guys, let's get some more netherrack and let's get this gold farm started. Oh yeah, dude, I'm actually legitimately so excited because it's the first ever time I'm actually making a gold farm. Like I said, I have pre-planned it in my creative test world uh, just to prove that the concept works, which by the way, it does. So yeah, I'm excited guys. I hope you guys are as well because like I say, it'll be my first ever one. Alrighty guys, so here we are at the top of the nether. A very, very weird look looking place, isn't it? I know people aren't used to it, but you know what? It's all good. We use trickery to get up here, guys, and now what we're gonna do is use trickery and, um, cunning to kill zombie pigmen without even hurting them ourselves, that is. So, what we need to do, first of all, step one is to go way the heck up to build limits. So, we need to go up to Y256 uh, to make a bit of a start on this thing, because if you're 128 blocks away from the mobs down below, then they will just not spawn so yeah something to bear in mind so what we need to do is just go up now obviously i could use scaffolding but uh, i don't have any scaffolding uh i mean i'm pretty sure i've got a little bit of bamboo that i picked up from the jungle the other episode but uh yeah we haven't farmed it yet so that could be another project to do at a later date is an automatic bamboo farm you know there's plenty of things we can automate these days my friends oh yeah so anyways i imagine this is probably going to be a longer than normal episode so i'm just going to go ahead and get up to this thing. And we're going to try and keep it to the point. So, let's get up here. Alrighty, guys. So, here we are at Y256. We literally can't even place a torch up here. So, what we actually need to do is maybe go down a block just so we can light this up so we can prevent spawns. So, here we go. We can make ourselves a little bit of a work area. This block signifies where the, uh, where the you know, break in the bedrock is. Uh, so, that's obviously really kind of nice. So, what we need to do is make a little bit of a platform. And this is just going to be our little uh, work platform platform for now. This 5x5 area is also going to double up as where the egg is going to go. So the egg is going to go in the central area here. The idea being, we'll have ourselves some uh, little avenues where the zombie pigmen can try to get to it, but ultimately won't. And then they'll just fall off and die, basically. That's the idea. So... We need to try and figure out all of the heights of the various things here, because if we mess it up, then we are a massive doofus. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so let's go up to here. And obviously, because we can't build up anymore, we need to go uh, a whole load of blocks out. So we're going to go 16 blocks out in all directions, hence why I have quite a lot of nether axe, so we can actually fill it all in and get it done. So, yeah, we are going to go 16 blocks out. So 16 blocks corner. So that's two, three, four five six seven in fact no hang on a minute <laughs> this is wrong we need to go one block further down because otherwise mobs are going to spawn up here ah yes i'm glad i caught myself actually okay so one let's do that again so we're going 16 blocks out and the reason we need to be one block lower is so we can go ahead and place down the carpet which will prevent spawns uh for enderman anything else that may wind up coming up here so here we go one two three four and yeah just keep going until 16. Alrighty, guys so now that we've gone out 16 blocks diagonally in all directions all we have to do is start filling this all in and this is going to be the top layer no mobs will be able to spawn up here the spawning will happen on the three layers that are going to be going below so what we need to make sure we do as we go along is we place down carpet to prevent spawns because if they can spawn they're gonna spawn in their millions my friends because of the lack of area they can spawn so yeah kind of similar to the overworld uh yeah you need to make sure you cover your tracks as you go along because otherwise we're gonna have ourselves freaking ghasts and everything and that my friends is going to be very annoying <laughs> so yeah let's go ahead and uh, make sure we keep on top of that and ladies and gentlemen, there we go. The top spawn-proofed platform is now done. Now, once again, this is not going to be where mobs spawn, 
uh, the mobs will be starting to spawn on the levels below this one. Uh, the reason why we don't want to have like an open top spawn area is because, you know, ghasts and magma cubes and endermen will be able to spawn. And all of those guys are peeps that we do not want. So what we need to do is we need to go down a few levels like this and basically make a few more platforms of the exact same, you know, kind of size. And now these ones, I'm not really too fussed about mob spawning here. I mean, zombie pigmen, they are neutral. They are only hostile when hit. And obviously, endermen won't spawn because they need three blocks. Ghasts won't spawn because they need more than two blocks as well. And magma cubes, I am actually genuinely not too sure about. So I guess that's something we'll figure out as we go along. But with that all said and done, guys, what we also need to do is figure out where the eggs are going to go. So we need to go ahead and actually take out some of this area rather like this. Right, so this is the center. Go two blocks out in all directions. Rather like so, because the eggs have to be open to air for the zombie pigment to detect them. Which is something I didn't realize until I started doing the uh, testing in my creative single player world. So, yeah, we're looking pretty good here. There we go. So we can now get rid of all of this stuff. So this is where they're going to spawn. Yeah, you can see one's already spawned, which is obviously good. So what we need to do is we need to make a little bit of a funneling point for them, which is going to be here. This is going to be their funnel point. And we're going to have ourselves a couple trap doors here, or more to the point, one trap door here. And then this will be the drop. Okay, so that'll be the drop. Uh, but what it also means is we need to get rid of that. And then the egg is just going to sit on there. Now, Fun fact, you can actually place eggs and then you can get rid of the surface below them and they will still float. So let's just give that theory a go real quick. I mean, I know it works. So one egg right there. Boom. Get rid of that. And look at this guy. He's already trying to come along, isn't he? Aha. Uh -huh. Go on then. If I had to tell you the truth, that was probably a fairly good idea, right? Because then, as the zombie pigmen spawn in, as I'm trying to do this thing, uh, they will just drop to their deaths. Which is actually probably a good thing, like I say. So, uh, yeah, let's grab ourselves some trapdoors here. And literally, all we need is, like, one. Uh, and that will be enough to fool the zombie pigmen into thinking that this is a full block they can walk on. They'll just fall off and die. Which is good. Oh yeah. Alright, so we need to basically replicate this funneling area around this entire area. And then we should be good. Good. Alrighty guys, so at this particular moment what I'm doing is adding in the third layer where the third egg is going to go and yeah We will just have three spawning platforms, but they are all pretty significantly sized So I'm hoping that that will do the job quite nicely in terms of filling up the mob cap and rapidly decreasing it as they die And so on and so on etc etc and uh, yeah anyways what we're doing now my friends is we're just adding in the funnel areas Oh, I can hear one uh, just about to come down down here. Hello. There he is. <laughs> so, yeah. They do get trapped on the trap doors, but as they keep spawning in, they will literally just keep pushing each other off the edge. So, we don't really have to worry about that uh, at this particular moment in time. So, uh, let's go ahead and get the rest of these trap doors in, rather like this. Open them all up. And then we need to place in the egg. Uh-huh. Let's get the egg in there. And once again, rid all of the blocks around it and probably below it as well. Uh, put that one back in. And yeah, all is good. All right, guys. Yeah. So let's have a little bit of a look at this from afar. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so it's starting to take shape. All we need to do now, really, is actually place in all of the blocks. Now, sadly, I think I grossly underestimated just how many blocks I'm going to need for this thing. Uh, so I think what I'm going to go and do is maybe, just maybe, go back to base and grab myself a whole ton of stone. Because sadly, uh, I don't really have that much nether rack left, in all honesty. So yeah, maybe we grab ourselves a bunch of stone because we have quite the hefty amount of that stuff. And then we can probably go ahead and get on with this thing. However, with that all said and done, I think in the meantime, it'll be a nice idea to get back on the underside here. Uh, somehow, how am I going to do this? Hmm. <laughs> I need to get down. So I need to get down because I need to count like 25 blocks uh, so I can make myself the actual kill chamber area. So here we go. Boom, boom. All is well. That guy's going to try and come over. But it's not going to work because he got f he got pushed off. And so did you. Goodbye. <laughs> Dumbos. Right. Can I like make that? Huh. 
Oh, yep, just about. Sweet. So, let's say that uh, that is the first block. I mean, I'll tell you what, let's just do from this block. I want to guarantee that they die every time they fall down. I don't want there to be any possibility of them getting down to like a one shot or anything like that. So, actually, with that all said and done, I need to check on how much health these guys have because I think I've got a slight suspicion, rather like zombies, they have a couple armor points or something. Give me just a sec, I'll figure it out. Alrighty, guys. So, we're actually level with the zombie pigmen, and yes, I was correct. They have a couple of armor points so they have 20 health points plus two armor points uh so i think what we'll do is we'll just go down 30 blocks that should guarantee that they'll die from full damage so here we go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifty sixty seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty one two three four five six seven eight nine thirty okay so that is now 30 blocks down oh gosh <laughs> that's not scary or anything so this is going to be where the kill chamber is uh we need to make ourselves uh some like drop funnel and so on and so forth and then once we have all of them up and running we should be able to make ourselves the uh, collection system very simple with hoppers and chests and yeah should be a good time my friends should be a good good time so like i say my friends for now though we need to grab ourselves a ton of freaking resources Let's do it. All right, folks. So thanks to the Insta mine, I've actually gone ahead and got myself two full shulker boxes full of cobblestone and two full shulker boxes full of regular stone. Now, my idea to make it look, you know, semi-okay is to go ahead and use the cobblestone as a bit of a rim. And then we'll have the solid stone uh, sort of on the center as the actual spawn platform. I mean, they'll be able to spawn on everything up here anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. But still, this is gonna be freaking Sweet. Oh, yeah. So, what we need to do, guys, is we are going to head into a third-person time-lapse. I'm going to bring in my camera cam because, guys, we are going to go ahead and get all three of the spawning platforms done. And then we'll be able to start working on the kill chamber. Oh, yeah. Oh, guys, I'm so excited. I really, really am. Oh, no. I messed up. Oh, goodness me. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Slight panicking. I don't know. Ah, uh, that's, that's really silly. Oh, I broke it by mistake. I don't know if any of the things came down here. Uh, yeah, looks like it. Oh, gosh, there's like all, all manner of things going on down here now. Oh, gosh. Anyways, guys, let's get that patched up and let's get into this time lapse. Guys, so one time lapse later and we're just about there guys check it out This is literally how much stone I have left after using two full shulker boxes of stone So yeah, this is almost two shulker boxes full of stone. Well, that doesn't make sense I almost used two full shulker boxes of stone. So yeah, we were very very lucky in terms of getting our count Correct right now then. Oh my goodness me. There's already a whole bunch of stuff up here my friends But the real question is just how much stuff is there going to be at the bottom on the actual bedrock ceiling itself? Because as you saw in the time lapse, as time went on, more and more and freaking more zombie pigmen were dropping down. So here we go, my friends. Let's have a little bit of a look here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look at this. Oh my word. Wow. Okay. Well, that's a full inventory's worth straight out the bat. Uh huh. Wow. That's a heck of a lot of gold already, my friends. And we haven't even set up the proper kill chambers yet or anything like that. Oh my gosh, well, there we go. There's a few more blocks of gold for the old collection. Don't mind if I for reeking do, my friendos. For now, I'll put the zombie flesh in there. And then, of course, we'll start filling up our gold. Oh, dang. That is freaking sweet, guys. That is a good indicator as to how much gold we're going to get from this farm. 
Oh, dudes, I'm so happy. I'm genuinely so happy. Like, even during that, we managed to get uh, a decent supply of gold right there. And there's still a whole bunch of stuff to pick up here. So there's a little bit there, a little bit there, and a little bit there to pick up as well. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. So what we do need to do now is set up the kill chamber. We need to make the uh, trapdoor tunnel things. And what do we have in terms of resources? We do have a fair amount of cobblestone left. So to be honest with you, I don't see a reason why we can't use it. So here we go, my friends. Let's get up to the kill chamber area of awesomeness. Here we go. There it is. All we got to do is land it. There we go. And start placing stuff down. Uh, well, not not that one in particular. Oh my goodness me! I may legitimately have to turn down my volume. It sounds like there's a lot of dudes coming down. Oh my gosh! Ah, turns out this is actually quite a lot easier than I first thought it would be. So what we gotta do? Oh wait, we do need ourselves some more trap doors though. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking loud! Oh my gosh! All right, so let's grab ourselves some trap doors, and this is actually very very simple. We're going to make them come into a very specific block, but uh, actually filtering them down is incredibly easy. You just go up rather like this, right? So this is what's gonna limit them from uh, being able to come onto the actual platform itself. Uh huh. A little bit more. Oh God! Well, that's not ideal. But anyways, we need to keep going. Uh, hello there. Hello, buddy. This is not ideal. What I would very much like to have happen. He won't actually move. You little jerk. He won't move. What am I supposed to do now, huh? I'm probably gonna wind up falling off now. You little bum. How dare you? Well, thankfully I can one-shot these guys. So, huh, boom. Yep, and now everybody's fine. Boop, there we go. Nothing happened. Nothing at all. Everything is fine. Right, so we need to go all the way up to... Again, I need to one-shot this guy. Yeah! Okay, there we go. And goodbye, sir. Whoop, up we go. Right, so we need to make sure they can see the egg. So rid that one. But this one can be flipped upwards. And then we can flip that one. And then they need to be see that one. Okay, and then we can flip up that one. Flip up that one. Rid that one. Flip up that one. And then, yeah, that should be the perfect funnel. So we can just keep doing this all the way down. And that should do the job. All right, this one I didn't do all, all the way to the top there, but as you can see, this clearly works. They are now falling all the way down to the bedrock. In fact, <laughs> sometimes there's so many that fall down, they like explode out. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. Oh my word. All right, guys, let's go, let's finish off the rest of these, huh? All righty, so with all of the restrictive trap doors in place, all we need to do now is place in the actual tunnels themselves, the little containing tunnels. So we need to go ahead and go around the outside here. So we're going to go up this side. Uh, we're going to go up this side. And then, of course, round the back as well. And that should be be a pretty simple procedure all in all to get all of this up so yeah literally just go up and if any pigmen wind up coming along then we just go ahead and slay them out with our smite four sword which by the way is the very same sword that uh, we enchanted uh, several episodes back the undead slayer i've called it obviously we've still got some upgrades to put on this thing looting three smite five uh you know those sorts of things would be very very nice potentially not back as well uh for the sake of enderman uh so yeah guys but for now we are in the process of getting this thing done and oh well there goes the cobblestone supply ah geez all right well let's get all these tunnels up huh and ladies and gentlemen there we go all of the funneling tunnels are now in place and as you can see every single zombie pigman is now funneling their way all the way down to the bedrock ceiling which is perfect now obviously the next next step is going to be uh, making the collection system and it's going to be extremely very simple we're just going to have ourselves banks upon banks of chests with hoppers i mean it's not like we don't have an unlimited supply of iron isn't it yeah it's gonna be a good time so here we go got ourselves a bunch of logs the only thing we don't have is the iron for the hoppers so uh, let me head back to base real quick and we shall go get some all right folks so what i've managed to do is i dug out this central pillar down a little bit so i was able to make another platform down below and this platform is where we are going to be able to access our storage so we've got ourselves a bunch of chests a bunch of hoppers all we have to do is start placing them in i think four double chests on each side will be enough for now depending on how much afk we're going to wind up doing uh, i mean to be honest i don't really know so yeah anyway so what we need to do is we need to start adding in the hoppers 
going into each of the chests, of course. Uh, let's do the same up here. Can I do the top one? Yes, I can. Okay, brilliant. Right, that should be it then. So if I was to go ahead and pick all these back up, then that should do the job there. And then we've got to go up to this one. One, two, three, four. And the final one. One, two, three, four. Right, that should be it. Ladies and gentlemen, that should be it. This should now start filling up. And as you can clearly see, it already is. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a gold farm. We have a fully functional gold farm. Absolutely beautiful, my friends. So yeah, they all drop down onto their die. And then all of their drops are picked up by the hoppers and go into the chests. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, we're freaking good now. We're going to have gold coming out of the freaking wazoo, man. This is going to be insane. Oh, my goodness me. I love it so. I do love it so, my friends. Having OP farms all over the place. I mean, look at this. I'm using gold blocks for decoration. That's how amazing we are at this game. <laughs> oh, it's so brilliant, isn't it, guys? It's actually so brilliant. Ah, it's always a good time when you can decorate the thing with gold blocks as you go along. Like, the gold blocks, they just keep replenishing themselves. I mean, what could be better than that? It's freaking sweet. All right, so let's go ahead and put that in there. There we go. Got a little bit of a roof going on with the glowstone up top there as well. Uh, now, what we need to do is come up with a little bit of a decorative thing for the underside there. Uh, in addition to something around the edges here. I was thinking maybe we could just extend the cobblestone out just a little bit. Like, I don't know, uh, if we come around here, for example, do this. Uh, make that into a bit of a square. And actually break that bit. And then put in some logs. I think that could work kind of nicely. Maybe. Eh? No, not really. I'm kind of wrong with that one. What if I do that instead? Yeah, it kind of works a little bit. But maybe what we do instead is add the wood in at this side here. Just make it all wood, right? Could that work? Could that work? I don't know. I don't know, honestly. All we can do is just sort of keep going and see what happens. Yeah, <laughs> let's do that. Huh, do you know what? That actually kind of worked itself out, huh? So yeah, like I say, we've got to do the underside section. So this is going to be like the main AFK room. Then we come down here, we see what kind of wares we have going on, and then we can be on our merry way, which is awesome. But uh, yeah, we need to go and decorate this thing just to make it look a little bit better. In addition to making like a proper, in air quotes, entrance to this thing. Uh, but for now, my friends, this is a pretty nice looking room, if you ask me. I think it looks pretty darn cool. How and why and where did I take off my boots? I don't remember doing that. Huh. Okay. Well, whatever the case, guys. Yeah. This is cool. We have a fully functional gold farm. It only produces gold, but you know what? That's what a gold farm is for. I mean, you know, XP and player drops are like in addition to, but this is just a raw gold farm. So, yeah. This is going to be freaking sweet, though. I can't believe you. we've actually got one of these things going. And all it takes is the humble turtle egg, guys. It's so easy to do. It genuinely is. you just got to spend the time to get the resources to make the platforms. So, some of you guys may be wondering, well, Python, where are you going to get your source of XP from then? Enderman farm? I mean, Enderman farms are stupidly easy to make nowadays, right? You know, we've got a bunch of cool things going on with 1.14 and the end and Enderman and such. So, yeah, Enderman farm is the way to go for XP for me in this series. You know, we've got sources of resources all over the place, but sources of XP. I don't think we need anything else other than the Enderman farm. Hey, guys, do you remember the minecart elevators of old? I think that that could be the way we get into this place. I mean, we already have ourselves the uh, bedrock hole down there. All we need to do is make a little bit of a tunnel system. System and then put some minecarts in and then we should be able to get up here like within a matter of seconds like literally in a matter of seconds uh-huh well anyways guys i thought i'd bring you guys back in uh, for now just to say that you know everything is now done this room down here is now done we go up top and this area is now done as well everything's looking good and all in the meanwhile the zombie pigmen have been killing themselves there is one thing i am slightly concerned with though i said that mobs despawn at 128 blocks away right so if we f3 that at uh, y216 so if we minus 128 off of that i believe that's going to be 
what, 88? 88? Is that the number I'm looking for? 88? So what that means is I'm pretty sure the guys are going to be able to spawn inside of my nether tunnel in the meantime which could be a bit of an issue we may have to go ahead and relocate the nether tunnel system to be a lot lower down because that is going to be pretty majorly affecting the spawn rates up there yeah there's rather a lot of guys down here so hmm uh-huh we're gonna have to go ahead and uh, relocate this huh Relocate the tunnel system, make it lower, and then, uh, yeah, that should increase the efficiency of the gold farm even further, I would hope. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, anyways, guys, yeah, we have a fully functioning gold farm. There's still some improvements to be made. Uh, may maybe making some, uh, you know, minecart entity cramming things going on in there. Uh, because sometimes I get uh, chickens, uh, you know, zombie pigman chicken jockeys come down and then they don't die because they just float. Uh, so after a while, they'll probably just collect up and just lag the game or something. Uh, so yeah, there's plenty of improvements to be made, but we'll probably do that in the coming episodes or off camera. And I'll show you what I've done. But for now, my friends, yeah, fully functioning gold farm there you go if you guys have enjoyed today's episode or learned a thing or two then please do be sure to drop a like rating it really helps out myself the channel and the video massively it truly does hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you guys don't want to miss out on future minecraft content but for now my friends thank you very much for watching have a fantastic rest of your days always and i'll see you guys in the next episode <laughs>